Hi, it's Corrine. I'm here today with a design team project for Cut at Home, and I have some amazing things to share with you today. Here's a project that I made from some new stamps and die sets that are out by Heartfelt Creations. I'll set this aside and I'll go into more detail of this later. And also, I do have a start to finish on how I made this. I will add that to this video as well if you're interested in seeing that. But what I'd like to share with you are these brand new releases. These are, this is by Spellbinders and it's from Heartfelt Creations and it's this classic sunflower die. And if you've not used their dies, any of the Spellbinders, you will love them. They cut so well. And with Heartfelt Creations, you get a guide on how to use the die and it gives you a guide on every single um, die cutting machine out there so like I use a big kit kick big shot machine and uh, it tells you exactly how to form your sandwich so it cuts perfectly and it works perfect every time so now this die which again is the classic sunflower matches this stamp set which is also the classic sunflower by heartfelt creations And look at the detail. These are just gorgeous. And they have a whole line that matches, that coordinates with the sunflower. So the next one is the Chick Retreat. And again, it all coordinates together. So this one has sentiments that says, wishing you sunny days and happy hours every day. Heard you caught a bug, get well soon. These are just stunning. Here's another one. This one is the sunflower stem. And it says the flowers of tomorrow are the seeds of today. So it comes with the leaf spray, the large sunflower, and the butterfly. This one here is summer's day. And it has this large rooster and this butterfly with the sunflower and the butterfly by itself. This one here is Sunflower Bouquet. And look at this, I love this bucket with the flowers. And then this here, you can use this in a, a corner or just all over the page, however you'd like to use it. And this one is Sunflower Patch. So again, it has the flourishes with the large sunflower and then the group of sunflowers down there. So. All of these, if you got all of these together, you can make a mini album with this theme and it would just go so beautifully together. So again, the die, the die cut of Classic Sunflowers cuts out perfectly from this large stamp. So as you can see, here's my hand and I'm sorry I have ink on it, but here's my hand and it's larger than my hand. So all you do is when you're cutting it or um, you can stamp it and then what I do which you'll see in the start to finish if you're interested in seeing that is I stamped it and then I line this up together and I added a little bit of scotch tape here and a little scotch tape there and it'll hold it in place when I run it through my die cut machine and it cuts out perfectly every time so let me just show you a couple examples here first of all I made this journal book. This I got for 10 cents at a garage sale and I took it apart. Here, here was the cover and it had all these papers in it and I took it apart. I bound it myself. I cut out some chipboard that was this exact same size and I used the absolute beautiful Heartfelt Creations paper to go with it. This is the 12 by 12 Classic Sunflower Collection. And look at everything you get in this collection. These are all tags and it's all double-sided. So it, if you choose not to use the tags, you can use the pattern paper that is on the other side. So this, I can't wait to make a mini album out of. This has so many tags you can cut out and borders. So let me flip through it to show you real quick. This is gorgeous. So it all, it all matches and they also have a, um, 
uh, in that collection. They also have a card kit that you can get in this classic sunflower collection. So look at this paper. I just love this paper. Here's some tags, some cutouts. These are little tickets. And then these are little, I believe they're three by three, this one is. And then they even have little stamps there. This collection is one of the prettiest collections I've worked with. And then these are six by six pieces, and I've, this is what I use to make my journal. And I love this. Here's some more six by six. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. And it has, oh, I just love this. Some more six by six. And then here's some frames. These, you can use this as a um, scrapbook page a, uh, uh, for your scrapbook and just add photos in it and it would be a beautiful page. Or you can make cards out of this as well. Here's a large one. Look at the detail on this here. So pretty. Love this page as well. Spread your wings and fly. Here's some more cutouts and some more little tags. Aren't these cute? They are so cute. So easy to cut out. And I love that you get two of everything and then the large pieces. And then look at these large pieces you can cut out. This has the chicken wire in the back. And then here's some border strips. Some more cutouts. I love this. So that's the, the paper that goes along with it. And again, here's the journal that I made. So I used one of the tag cutouts. I used this stamp set here, which is Classic Sunflower. I stamped it, I embossed it, and then I colored them with colored pencils, which you will see in the start to finish if you'd like. I layered them, I added a little bit of the glitter Wink of Stella in the middle, and I added a bow here with some jute twine around it. It just matched the theme perfectly. And then there's little butterflies, I mean ladybugs, that it cuts out also from that stamp, that uh, die set. So one of these are like the little ladybugs here. Oh, right there. And then it cuts out the leaves and everything else. And then I added some flat back pearls. And look at this paper on the back. It's just gorgeous. Here's the inside. I used a couple more of the tags. And then here is the back page. So let me just show you quickly here. How beautifully these stand. So I use a stamp pad that I got years ago from um, a craft store. You did, this is not necessary, but I like to use it. It gives it a little bit better image. You can also use a notebook pad or magazines or a um, mouse pad. And I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black. This would look pretty in like a brown color as well. So I'm just gonna make sure I ink that up real well. And like I said, you don't even need a um, acrylic black. You just wanna press it all around, make sure you're getting a good solid image here. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't wait to color that. And these just match perfectly with the paper collection. So again, I like to just kind of move my hand around, make sure I'm pressing down just so I get a perfect stamp and then lift it straight up. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 
So again, there will be links to everything in the description box below. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will put the start to finish on this um, along with some detailed pictures at the end. Thanks so much for watching.